there's a new Steam Deck beta update with a couple of little interesting tweaks and changes, right? It's got tweaks for notifications and the boot video length has been updated or upped to 30 seconds if you are using a really long boot animation video. I'm not sure why you'd want one that's 30 seconds and have to wait 30 seconds to get into your Steam Deck, but it's there and it's an option now. So let's get into it, let's cover it. I'm Lace okay, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for all the Steam Deck content, the steamy Steam Deck content. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. Hey guys, before we get into this video, we're giving away one of these amazing folding keyboard and track pads for the Steam Deck. It's my favorite Steam Deck accessory and we're giving away in a couple of weeks. All you have to do for a chance of winning is clicking the like button, subscribe button and bell icon and commenting down below as to why you would want to win one of these bad boys. Also, if you just want to buy one of these things, um, I'll put a link to where you could buy it in the video description and in the top comment of this video. So guys, kudos to Gaming on Linux, one of my favorite, favorite websites where you can also stay up to date on Linux and SteamOS news, um, posted a new article, Steam Deck beta update tweaks notifications and boot video length up to 30 seconds. So if you, if you know me, I've been posting a lot of videos lately. I recommend you go check out my latest how-to video on how to set up custom boot animations on your Steam Deck because it is easier than ever before. You literally go onto the desktop mode, download an app from the App Store on SteamOS, um, and then you can literally just browse unlimited Steam Deck boot animations and click install and boom, You've got a new boot animation. It's super interesting. But um, they've upped the video length now in the beta update under the beta channel on the Steam Deck to 30 seconds should you want a super long Steam Deck boot animation. So fresh out of the oven, Valve has put up a new Steam Deck client beta that tweaks how some notifications are accessed. The update is available in the beta and preview channels and you can opt into this via settings, system, Steam update, channel, which, and then obviously switch into the beta channel. Um, so here's what's changed. Um, so generally the quick access menu will now open to the notifications tab when you have a new friend when you have new friend chat messages, game invites or voice chats. So basically, if you get invited to a game um, or somebody sends you a message via Steam chat, once you hit that quick access, once you open the quick access menu, it'll default to the notifications tab where you can quickly access whatever that whatever was invited, whoever, whoever that game invite or the messages. Um, notifications for game invites in the quick access menu had. Um, now have an option in the footer to accept them without having to navigate to the chat window. That's really interesting. Makes things convenient. Fix an issue where Steam group chats with long names or descriptions could cause or could cause break the layout of the could break the layout of the chat screen. Increased boot animation max length from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. So basically, if you've got a boot animation video that goes on for like 15 seconds to 30 seconds, you should be pretty well covered now. If you want to wait 30 seconds to get into your Steam Deck, if the animation is that good, then you can now do that. It's been up from 10 seconds to 30 seconds, which is a pretty significant jump if you ask me. Because a lot before, a lot of them were cutting off before the animation was done, and it kind of bugged quite a few people on the list so now if you've got a really long one you can now you can now have that it's it's an option for you now which is pretty cool they've added controller specific glyphs on the lock screen that's pretty cool so if you have a controller um if you connect up your ps5 controller or something like that you can now see the playstation PlayStation icons on the home screen or the lock screen, sorry. Um, fix an issue on the lock screen where you'd have to dismiss the on screen keyboard manually if you slept the device while it was up. Ah, very nice. Okay, cool. That's a good fix. Fixed invoking the on screen keyboard while already in a full screen keyboard input scenario causing bad behavior. That's a weird little bug fix but cool um steam input fix an issue when the ed when editing command settings from inside the virtual menu screen cool um so there we go i'm pretty sure the biggest news and, and the biggest news in terms of that update was obviously the increase from 10 seconds to 30 seconds for the boot animations now like i says i really recommend you go watch my video that i posted yesterday on how to easily easily install boot animations because it, it really is it's super easy so go check that out i'll put I'll put it up here in the top right top right corner of the video if you want to click on that right now. But anyways, guys, I'm Blaze2K. Okay. If you want more Steam Deck news and content, please click the subscribe, click the bell icon. Please like this video if you can. Um, and like I says, go check out that keyboard that I talked about at the start of the video because that thing, that thing is amazing. I use it literally every day. You could win one by just clicking subscribe and clicking the bell icon. Um, and I'll also put a link to where you can buy it down below. So anyways... Have a great day. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be streaming um, 
mortuary assistant tonight on on stream at 3 p.m eastern today um so i'll see you there if you want to come join anyways guys have a wonderful day i love you bye